the end of the day, I went through practice, um, had zero drops, zero miss assignments. Um, there was nothing that could connect seven days ago to today and how we came out and played and executed. There's, there's just nothing in the world that's not realistic. Um, I think it did a great job at creating distractions for us. Um, and it's unfortunate. That's just, that's just the way this world is. Um, and there's, there's just no way you could connect something that happened seven days ago to, to this game um, today and how we came out and played and how the Packers have won seven in a row and how they scored 38 points and how they executed. They came up with the third downs. They, they did what they needed to do. Um, so the connection is just not there. Well, guys, last Monday, let's face it, we did one word, right? Yes. And my one word was perception. Yes. And whether or not it affected it or not, the perception was, I don't care. I don't care about the playoffs. I don't care to get ready. And what happened today when they came out, Tommy? Uh, they dropped pass after they pass. They did. I, right? I thought the Giants had a very good opportunity to set the tone for this game early. The first drive of the game, they had a third down. Odell Beckham Jr. That's drops right. a pass in Green Bay territory. They have to punt. The second giant possession, they had drops by both Odell Beckham Jr. and Sterling Shepard in the end zone. They had to settle for a field goal. The Giants had an opportunity to take at minimum a 10-point lead after the first seven minutes mm. of this game. At that point, they had a three-point lead. I'm with you. I personally do not believe their trip to Miami had anything to do with how they played today at Lambeau Field. But when you decide to do what they did, you are going to be asked a lot of difficult questions, and you're going to have to answer those questions.